guys, so here we go. We're gonna start hauling our first set. Hopefully have a few halibut on there. Yeah, it's just pulling up on the buoy. We'll start hauling in the buoy line. Alright guys, so here's our level wind working. I don't know if you can see, but there's just a tab in the hole right there. And that's a, just, just a channel for where once it turns this uh, sprocket here, you just slide through it. You can see it just winds it nicely on the reel there. Keeps it nice and even. So I'm just kicking the boat into gear to keep the line behind us. It's going that way. I don't want to run over the top of it. What was our depth? Uh, right about 60 here. Uh -huh. 60 fathoms. 360 feet. And here's the anchor. Yeah, 
So the tide is flooding now, so we're gonna drift this way. So we're pretty much going with the tide right now and the current, which means it'll be really easy to haul. There's no wind or anything to push us off the pier. That's probably the biggest disadvantage of hauling off the stern right here is that you can't really maneuver the boat that well. So you try and make your sets to take advantage of the wind for the day or the current, whatever. It's probably going to be stronger. So most vessels would haul like on their midship rail right there. But just with our layout and everything. Not about switching before, but I don't think we ever will. This way is better when the, it's rough out. Yeah, it's a lot more comfortable for us. Yeah. coming back, huh? Yep. I think we gave this a little longer soak than we usually do. Yeah. Which is good. tooth. It's a type of flounder. So you can see they got pretty pretty vicious teeth right there. They're pretty weak fish though. I mean they can't really take too much, right? Yeah, they're There's no market for them, so yeah. At least not in a small scale thing.
it doesn't really alert them. I'm thinking that the fish are probably going to... Hairy snail. Got some living things on him. It's old and crusty. Coming along. So Tristan's just over here pinned hooks. Just our storage solution. Shaking fish, bleeding fish. Yep. Put your 
here in the water. Yep. Here comes something. It's nice. Yeah, I see the shrimp down some. Starfish octopus. It's cute. <laughs> Bristly. Yeah, rough. A little bit. It's cute. Get out of here. <laughs> Wild. Kind of reminded me of a cuttlefish. <laughs> Keep them though. We can now after July? Yeah. Well, yeah, if you go legal length, but it's too small. Oh, I see. Look at those chompers.
Oh no. Came up clean and are getting on my nerves. What flies? Tiny little bugs crawling you. Seaweed bugs. Oh, that piece of bait is driving that bird crazy. Come get it, friend. I know you're hungry. There we go. What's that nice bug? Be something nice. Be something nice. We use 
disease to hold the line down, especially when it's hilly. <laughs> Try and keep it on bottom where it fish, not up in the air where it doesn't. Out. It wasn't on the bottom. Yeah, too tight, huh? Yeah, even though it has rocks and stuff on it, but you know, a little bigger tide and it's, you know, it just stretched it out, made it tight. Maybe I should have set a little slower. Hard to say if that would have helped. There's something wiggling around down there. little bit, huh? That's right. <laughs> you notice I was nodding off back here. Better though. At least 
meat's coming over the rail. Yep. few minutes then they'll be all squawking over here
Yep. the gill plate there just slice that then I kind of twist my hand right here and just carve away that membrane there poking through the vent there and this part is kind of hard to pick up but you just kind of go cross armed like that carving around the gills yeah, slice that little membrane there. Move the egg sack and or the sperm sack. <laughs> Thank you. 